Hello, everyone. My name is Tom Augsburger, and I'm a software engineer here at Anaconda, where I get to work on open source projects like Dask and Pandas for a living. Uh, I wanted to talk today about a, an issue we've all run into. You know, you're using some piece of software, and you run into a bug. Uh, it's just a fact of life. All software has bugs. Um, in this case, you know, with a library like Pandas, uh, it's very ambitious. There's a large surface area. So there's lots of known and yet to be discovered issues in pandas, uh, and it's worth you know kind of pausing to reflect about you know because we're using these open source libraries, you actually have a lot of control. You have a lot of power. You can go into the actual source code itself and investigate you know what is actually going on here. Get the actual source of truth. You can potentially modify the source code. You can make changes to fix the bug. And uh, if you choose to, you could even share those changes you know, upstream with the project so that uh, nobody else has to go through the same process and you don't have to maintain a fork of pandas with this bug fix applied. So I wanted to kind of go through a, a, you know, a, a toy example of we're using some library, pandas in this case. We discover some issue and we you know, investigate the problem and we potentially make a fix and then a pull request back up to the project. So let's say we're here in our, our terminal and we're you know, using pandas. And in this case, we'll be using a feature of pandas that lets you store some metadata in this adders dictionary. This could be something like the date that the data set was collected at uh, or the person who collected the data set. The important thing is just some metadata that uh, doesn't affect any computation. Uh, but it is carried along uh, as you do operations. So in this case, we'll add one to our little data set. And we'll look at the uh, adders here. And we see that this date recorded has been propagated through. Um, but if you do other operations, like we'll take the absolute value, we get the result that we expect, except that our adders has been lost. Okay, So this is the potential bug that we're going to look into is why is it that when I call series.abs, the adders is lost? All right, so first thing to do would be to uh, you know, report the, the bug up to pandas, or before you even do that is to uh, search for it. So we'll, we'll search for something like adders, uh, uh, search for adders and um, maybe abs to select for this uh, specific method. And it looks like there was an issue here where uh, various methods don't call finalize. I actually opened this issue a while back, which is how I knew about this bug. Uh, but anyway, it's talking about things like indie frame finalize. Propagating metadata sounds pretty, uh, pretty relevant here to ensure that things like adders and flags are not lost. So this does indeed sound like what we're, what we're running into. And if you look here, you can see that series.abs is apparently one of the methods that's affected by this issue. OK, so let's um, you know, go through the process of uh, contributing a fix. Um, many projects will have some sort of contributing uh, guide. In the case of Pandas, it's at the uh, docs, the development contributing page. And we can go through you know, all of that. I already have um, you know, the Pandas ones. It's, it's written with the beginners in mind. So if you're new to software development or open source, uh, it goes through all of that, like working with Git and GitHub. Uh, I already have an, a development environment set up, so I'm going to skip down to creating a, a new branch to actually fix this buggy behavior. And I'm actually going to copy the issue number here because we're going to use it in a couple places. All right, so first of all, we'll check out a new branch. We'll call it, um, I like to prefix it with the issue number, and we'll call it like adders abs. And then the test, the uh, issue mentioned a file here called test finalize. So we're going to go ahead and uh, write a failing test to uh, demonstrate the behavior, uh, the issue that we're uh, running into. I'm just going to throw it down at the bottom here. Uh, and we'll say test abs. We'll have a series. Doesn't really matter what's in it. Uh, we'll set the adders to have something, as long as it's not blank. And then we will uh, call adds on it to get our results. And then we'll assert that the result has the right adders. In this case, it'll just be the foo one. OK. And I need to make sure I have a double equals here. OK, so let's go ahead and run that test. It's in pandas, tests, uh, generic, test finalize. And we called it test adds. And we'll see that hopefully this test fails. Okay, so yeah, it's saying, hey, uh, you asserted that this was the 
uh, result that adders, but it's actually empty. So that's the bug that we need to fix. Um, at this point, you know, if you're not sure where to go, you could do some debugging. You could ask around on the issue tracker. Um, I happen to know that this is implemented in Pandas uh, core generic. And we'll go to the abs method, which is where uh, we implement abs for uh, series and data frame. So you have this doc string here, pretty long. And the actual implementation is just this single line, returning np.abs on self. Um, again, I'm already familiar with the issue here. This would take a bit of debugging, but the root problem is that we're not calling finalize on this result. So finalize is a method in pandas for taking the metadata from this argument and copying it over to this indie frame. In this case, it's going to be a series, but it could also be a data frame. So that should be it. We'll rerun the test here and see how things look. OK, great, it passed. Um, and then again, you know, consult the contributing guidelines of the project that you're working with. Uh, with Pandas, we like to have a, um, a release note with every change. So we're going to go to uh, what's new, and we're in 1.2.0 is going to be the next release. This will go under bug fixes. Uh, we'll throw it in numeric here. We'll say uh, bug in meth series.abs uh, not propagating metadata. Uh, that was issue number issue 2883. Okay. So that's our, uh, I missed a colon here. This will this will link back to the issue. All right, so that's our, our changes. We have the bug fix. We have the documentation. We'll add those and then we'll make a commit. Uh, Pandas uses pre-commit to do a bit of uh, you know, auto formatting and some basic uh, linting with Flake 8. Uh, if all those pass, you'll get uh, uh, be able to put your, your commit message here and we'll say uh, you'll propagate or we'll say call, uh, finalize in indieframe.abs. And we'll make a reference uh, back to the issue here. Uh, you could say closes this, but there are a whole bunch of other methods. Uh, so we're, we're only going to reference it here. OK. And then at that point, you can push it uh, to, your, um, to your fork of pandas. So this will push it up to uh, Tom Augsburger slash uh, pandas on GitHub. And then you can go to this URL to create a pull request. Pandas maintainer would come along at that point and say, hey, this looks good. Maybe change this one thing. Maybe add this other thing. And then it would get merged into pandas and eventually included in the next release. All righty. So again, we saw that example. We discovered an issue. We went to GitHub to search around, see if anyone else had reported it. It had already been reported. Don't open duplicate issues. Uh, but uh, we, we discovered the issue, and then we were able to implement a fix. It was a one-line change plus some docs plus some tests to be able to ensure that, that we actually really did fix it. Um, then we were able to get ready to make a pull request, and then eventually it would be merged in Pandas. Okay, so again, I would encourage you to you know think about uh, you know if you're using these libraries, these open source libraries every day, maybe think about contributing back to them. Uh, for the most part, the Python community is welcoming uh, to new contributors. Um, there's a ton of different ways to contribute. So we saw an example of discovering a bug. Reporting that bug would have been a way to contribute. Uh, uh, or even just saying, hey, I also ran into this on the issue. Um, beyond that, you know, we, we went and fixed the bug, which is another way to contribute. But it is not just bug uh, reporting bug fixes. There's also things like documentation. There's also things like tooling, uh, working on the website. There's all sorts of ways to contribute to an open source project. So I'd encourage you to look at the uh, contributing.md file in your favorite projects repository. Lots of projects have standardized around this file being a guide to how to contribute to the project. Uh, and again, you know, get out there, encourage, I encourage you to contribute to your favorite projects. Thanks for listening.